Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So let's jump straight into this tutorial. I'm going to start by taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just going to prime my eyes with this as per usual. And I just want to say sorry if my voice sounds really croaky and annoying. I'm sick at the moment, but I wanted to film this video anyway. So next step is to set that paint pot with some powder just to make sure all the eyeshadows on top blend really seamlessly. Now taking this really rich orangey brown shade, this is going to be my transition. So just taking this in windshield wiper motions to add a really nice wash of color in my crease. So all the products that I will be using will be listed down below if you guys are interested. Now taking my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, I'm picking up a shimmery bronze and a medium brown shade. So I'm just going to pack this all over my lid and to be honest I couldn't see her lid colour at all in any photos. I was doing so much research so I just thought I would kind of do in between so a little bit of shimmery and a little bit of matte. Now with the most pigmented black eyeshadow of my life, this is the Makeup Geek in the shade Corrupt. I'm just going to sketch out a wing. Oh my god, I am so bad at winged eyeliner, eyeshadow, anything so don't judge me. I'm not the best but I am slowly getting better so I'm just gonna line my upper lash line and just create a massive wing and then kind of fluff it out a little bit because Kim's was really smoky and smudged out now with my vitamin and rich face base by Bobbi Brown I'm just gonna pop this all over my face because my skin was so incredibly dry this morning and also Kim's face looked really healthy and glowy so this is the perfect step For foundation today, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. And that one is to add just a nice glowy dew to the skin. And I'm just going to pack this on with a beauty blender. Kim's complexion was absolutely flawless, so I'm just making a super high coverage. So just quickly, while I have like 20 seconds to chat, I just want to say thank you so, so much for 700k, guys. It honestly means the world to me. I really wish I could be on my A game with filming but this flu or cold or whatever sickness this is, is taking over my life and it is so annoying. Ah. Now it's time to conceal, so I'm taking the NYX HD concealer. This is actually an amazing concealer and it is so incredibly cheap. So just getting rid of those dark purpley bags under my eyes. I don't understand where they came from. That was random. I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender. This honestly comes in handy so much. Oh, I need to buy like 20 of these. We all know Kim has that incredible highlight under the eyes, so I'm taking my MAC Prep and Prime in the shade Light Boost just to brighten up under my eyes. The concealer was more so to cancel out the discoloration and this one is to brighten. Now it's time to bake under my eyes, so I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm actually going to add this stuff, I need to go get another one ASAP, it's literally the best stuff to set under the eyes and all over the face. So I'm just setting all over the face now. If I don't do this step, it gets really hard to blend out my bronzer and contour and stuff, so this is a must. Now going in with that same black shade, I'm going to line my lower lash line from inner corner to outer corner. And when I'm in the inner corner, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit so it accentuates uh, accentuates that tear duct area. I've never done a really black lower lash line, so it looked very dramatic on me and I'm not used to it yet. But just going in there and blending it out so it's nice and smoky. Now taking my Benefit Bad Gal Liner. This is waterproof so it really does stay in my waterline. Oh my god, I can't believe how intense this is. So for mascara, I'm taking my MAC mascara. I'm so glad I picked it up. It is honestly my new holy grail. It is amazing at separating and making them really wispy and long. So just prepping my top lashes for falsies. Now taking a shimmery pearl shade, I'm putting this directly underneath my eyebrow to highlight. And then I'm going to move on to my lower lash line of mascara. And my voice is literally leaving the building. See ya. For my favorite part of any makeup look, it is applying false lashes. I feel like this just makes the whole look 10 times better. Oh my god. 
That really hurt. That really hurt. Now it is time to contour the face. Kim's contour wasn't overly dramatic, but we all know she has naturally defined beautiful cheekbones. So I'm just going to do kind of a light hand with this, but I kind of want it to look still dramatic. You know what I mean? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Anyways, moving on to bronzer, I'm taking my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer and putting this on my cheekbones and also around my forehead as well, just to make sure it's nice and warm and glowy. For blush today, I'm taking my MAC in the shade Melba. This is a beautiful shade. It honestly matches every single makeup look. I don't know how, but it's incredible. So Kim had a little pop of color on her cheeks, so I'm just putting that on my cheeks and then blending it back to my temples. For highlighter today, I'm using the Ofra in the shade You Do You. It is honestly amazing. And I'm just applying this with a fan brush for a really light application, but still visible. Can't go without my highlighter. So here I am attempting to contour my nose. I've never really done it properly before, but I mean, it really does make a difference. It actually looks like I've got a nose job. Kim's nose is tiny and so pinched, so I just thought I would try it out. Anyways, moving on to the lips, I'm just going to take a nude lip liner. This one is from NYX. It is incredible and it is super cheap as well. So just outlining them a little bit to make them appear a tiny bit bigger like Kim's. Moving on to lipstick, I'm taking the MAC lipstick in the shade Yash. I was tapping my lips like this for a reason actually. It was because Kim's lipstick wasn't overly dramatic so I thought I'd add a light layer of it but it looked better with like a full coverage lip so that's what I did. Last but not least, I'm setting my face with the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray, Cooling and Hydrating. I chose this one over the Long Lasting because this one has a bit of a glow to it. I feel like it just soaks up the extra powder. But yeah, there we have the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. P.S. I'm sorry about my voice. I'm about to go fucking punch myself in the head. Bye! <laughs>